right, let's get real. You've probably watched a ton of videos about creating AI avatars, right? Only to end up with results like, well, this. Where we bring you the latest developments in the world of innovation. Or maybe this. You probably noticed that my character wears a mask. It's frustrating, I know. I've been there. Scrolling and testing for hours, hoping to find that one video to crack the code. Spoiler alert, it didn't exist. Until now. Lucky you, because you finally landed on the video that's going to change the game. Today, I'm walking you through every step to create an avatar just like the one you're seeing now. So are you ready? Because I'm ready, let's make it happen. First thing we need is an avatar image. Use any AI image generator you like. I made mine with Leonardo AI, so feel free to try that, but honestly, any tool you're comfortable with should work. I'll just show you the exact prompt I use so you can replicate it if you want. You can also tweak the model and settings for a more personalized touch. Now that we've got our avatar, let's make it realistic, and I mean, like, really realistic. For this, we're using Hagen. Yes, it's a paid tool, but if you want that next-level, hyper-realistic AI avatar, it's worth the investment. $29 a month for unlimited avatar videos, in my opinion, is a small price for quality results. And hey, if you know of any better tools, let me know in the comments. Okay, after signing in, click the avatar button right here, then choose Photo Avatar. Click Create Photo Avatar. After that, you can choose whether you want to upload your own image or generate an avatar in Hagen. As I had the avatar done already, I'll choose the Upload option, but hey, feel free to try generating your own straight from here. I think the results could be really good, and you can skip the image generation part as well, sounds like a win-win. But yeah, then just upload your avatar images and press Upload. Hagen will quickly review your images so it can recognize your face and mouth and stuff. After it's done, you see the green marks here telling you that your images are approved. Then we can continue. Okay, next we need to name our avatar. Also, you can specify the age and ethnicity, but I don't know how much difference it makes. Let's just fill them and press continue. After the images are validated by Hagen, you can train your model by pressing here. They ask you to upload at least 10 images, but you can do less as you can see. It will take some time, so be patient. Okay, after Hagen has done the job, it's time to do the magic. Pick the image you like to use, and hey, you can also create more images by just adding some prompt here. Let's try. I added this prompt to see how it ended up. Let's pick a landscape and press Generate Look. Okay, damn, check out these results, pretty impressive. It really keeps the look of an avatar, though the avatar looks a bit less realistic after generating, but still, pretty nice job. Okay, sorry, let's continue. So, pick the image you like, and here from three dots, press Add Motion. Now what Hagen will do, is that it will bring your avatar to life. It will take a few minutes again, but believe me, the results are worth waiting for. And before we take a look, don't mind the voice, we will fix that problem in the later part of this video. Okay, now it's done after a few minutes, let's watch. Welcome to the new era of video creation with Hey Gen. Simply type your script to get started. Okay, quite nice. Let's try again with AI generated image to see how it ends up. Welcome to the new era of video creation with Hey Gen. Simply type your script to get started. Okay, not bad, to be honest, I was hoping for some hand movements also, but remember, you can recreate these as many times as you want, until you get the results you like. But now let's make the video ready. So pick the avatar you like to use, and make sure to pick one which says AI video. Here pick if you like to use landscape or portrait. As we make long form, I'll go with landscape. And here, go to script. And then you can choose the voice, and add your script. You can also clone your own voice here or the voice you are using, but as I tried it with my voice, it sounds a bit too robotic, so let's upload the voiceover, which is made with 11 labs as I always do. By the way, if you would like to see a video about how to create a realistic voiceover with 11 labs, just let me know in the comments. It's not a rocket science, but I found a way to generate the voices in a way which will save your credits in 11 labs and also saves the time in editing table, so if you up for that, just let me know. First, remove the script and upload your own voiceover. Then, we are good to go. Press submit, name your video, remember to toggle the watermark off and we are done. And there you have it, a realistic AI avatar ready to star in your videos. But now you are wondering, how does it actually look when you use it in video? Well, you just saw it. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, stick around. YouTube thinks you'll like this next video. It's loaded with more tips to up your content game. See you there.